Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Zendesk. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Zendesk from the available list of applications. To authorize this application, we need to provide data center, client ID, and client secret. To get the credentials, go to Zendesk, there you will see the data center associated with the Zendesk URL. You can copy that subdomain and use it as a data center. To get the client ID and client secret, select the settings option in Zendesk. There you will see another option called Go to Admin Center, select it. A new Admin Center tab will open. In that select the Apps and Integrations option, scroll down, and you will see the Zendesk API option, select it. In that again, select OAuth Clients. If you don't have any OAuth Clients, add one. If you already have that, open it. The unique identifier is the Client ID. I will copy this and use it as a client ID. And the secret is the client's secret value. Since I have already generated this, I will use that value. You can also regenerate the client secret. After providing all credentials, click on the check button and again select the connect to Zendesk button. Now the application has been authorized. I will name the service as Zendesk Query Service. I'll then choose the service named Query, which gets tickets from Zendesk. I'll choose the tickets object and then select the required fields from the fields list. We can also apply the filters by choosing the options from the dropdown. For now, I am not selecting any filters. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the tickets data to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the Query Tickets Sheet tab to present all the values from Zendesk. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon and turn on or off the include header and clear sheet before getting the tickets. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the chosen fields from the list are effectively brought from the Zendesk and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Zendesk tickets from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name Zendesk Post Service for creating the Zendesk tickets from the sheet. I will choose the Post Service. Then I will select a specific entity from the list. At this point, I have the choice to use an existing template or set up the process manually. For now, I'll opt for the template. Applying the template will automatically populate sample data to the spreadsheet, and it will establish automatic mapping using the template. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information, in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the column drop-down. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the Zendesk. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping, you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. 
feel free to use this sample template data and make any necessary updates. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the Zendesk. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on post now, which will create tickets in Zendesk. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns and we can see all the posted records in Zendesk. Let's prepare a new service named Zendesk Sync Service. This synchronizes the tickets between Google Sheets and Zendesk. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The Synchronize service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Zendesk. I'll choose the tickets object from the list and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 Zendesk tickets. The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in Zendesk. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Zendesk for the same data, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Zendesk wins or Google Sheet wins to choose which data to keep. In the Zendesk win scenario, the most recent data from Zendesk will overwrite and update the corresponding tickets in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Zendesk. First, let me choose Google Sheet wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Tickets Sheet tab and by default, it will begin from cell A1. Currently in the mapping only mandatory fields are showing. So here you need to add other fields also to which you want to update the data. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the tickets for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Zendesk first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the tickets from Zendesk. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields between the synchronization sheet and the Zendesk. So now as it's asking for intelligent mapping, I will select Yes. So it will automatically map both app fields and sheet fields. We can manually map by using the column dropdown. If you already have Zendesk data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the tickets. For some of the tickets, I will update the priority and type value. You can see the current priority and type value of one of the tickets in Zendesk. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Zendesk. Total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Zendesk from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within Zendesk. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. We can see the updated tickets on Zendesk. Now, let me choose Zendesk wins. 
With the Zendesk Wins option, recent data of Zendesk will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. To test this, I will change the subject and status value of one of the tickets. Now it should update the recent value from the Zendesk. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the Execution Control Panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from Zendesk irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new tickets data will be fetched from Zendesk if we have added new tickets to Zendesk. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of Zendesk tickets originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to B5. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the tickets data for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the Zendesk tickets. If you already have Zendesk tickets data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. And execute the service again. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. Hence, utilizing Sheet Director makes it easy to query Zendesk tickets information and display it in Google Sheets. Creating new Zendesk tickets from Google Sheets, and finally keeping the information synchronized between the Google Sheets and Zendesk tickets. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Zendesk tickets. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Zendesk tickets data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.